Hey, what's up gamers? This is Scalar Mystic. Welcome to Pet Training Baby Tomega, the Sorcerer Hunter. This episode is going to be a little bit different from the normal ones in that I'm no longer in Test Realm. This is Live Realm. And in Test Realm, I didn't manage to have enough snacks to make my Sorcerer Hunter all the way up to Mega. I missed the Epic and Mega levels. Now, I just happen to have this one in the really, really world. Well, <laughs> as really, really as we get. So I thought what I would do is train it all the way up to Mega instead. What that's going to do is give you all a double dip on this pet's talents or possible talents. I trained it to Teen before I really thought about it. And I got Add Balance. And after I did that, I was like, hey, you know what? Wait a minute. I could retrain this entire pet on one video and give all the viewers a better idea of some of the talents this pet may get because it might not get the same talents as the, as the last one did, as evidenced by this Add Balance. So I'm going to train this pet all the way from Baby to Mega in one video. It might be a little bit longer video and it might break my normal rule of making it into two videos for a pet training. But I want to give you guys the final version of this pet <laughs> before I put it to, to, before I put it to bed, as it were. I was gonna say before I put it to sleep, but we're not really putting our pet to sleep, are we? No. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and train this pet all the way up to Mega, and this is the live realm, so this will be the final training or the final set of training for this pet, and then we will move on to something else. I just didn't want to train this pet back up to its epic level, or, or, or right before its epic level and get a bunch of different talents and confuse everybody as to what was going on. This pet is the live realm pet and not the test realm pet. So let me go ahead and get started and we will train this pet up and see what it gets for talents. Bring myself over here to the little blazing circle and I will be right back when it gets its next level. And I am back, our live realm sorcerer hunter pet. This one seems a little bit less, uh, how shall we say, active <laughs> than the test realm one was. I haven't had to take a spear in the butt cheek yet. I've been just fine. He, he, he's, he's looking menacing, but he hasn't been really aggressive like the other one has. I, I thought I was going to lose my hair a couple of times with that other one. Anyway, we've got one more training until he reaches his adult level. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and you'll get to see what it is he gets for a talent. They used to have... It didn't last very long, but they used to have a pet training glitch for, for the pet pavilion here where you could train a pet one time and then glitch feed it like a bunch of times and it would, it would go up entire levels and all you would have to do is do one training. <laughs> they, they caught on to that really fast and they fixed it. But I do remember I was around whenever that happened. I saw that happen. I'm, I'm not saying that I would ever do such a thing as that, but I do know about it. And of course we have our one single Defiant Gobbler over there. He's probably the smartest one of the bunch. He didn't get hit. There he goes. There he goes. In time, all shall fall. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just messing around now. Anyway, come on now. Let's, let's, being as it's his level celebration, let's give him a fancy yogurt. I know he likes to have that yogurt. He doesn't like the snack, I mean, necessarily, but... Unbalancer, which is... <laughs> he shields against balance, too. Okay, uh, this this one is not working out as well as the other one did, I don't think. Hopefully he'll get something better and the next one's up. Restorative. Plus 50% morale. Chance duck to self 10 seconds. Okay. That was the adult level. So, being as we have got him to adult, this is what he's got so far. He's got add balance. <laughs> yeah, he's got... Add to balance attack and shield from balance. Go figure. I don't know why they put shield balance on a balance pet. That doesn't... I don't know why, but okay. Well, whatever. We've got two epics and three ultra rares. To, uh, yep, two, two epics three ultra rares to, to shoot for. Hopefully, I get some of those on this pet. That's just crazy. I hope so. All right. Anyway, back to the training, and I will be right back. And I am back. Our little tadpole has one more training until he makes ancient. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to tell you some things that I discovered while I was off camera about this pet. Some very important things, in fact. <laughs> I, uh, I ran the maze a couple of times. I was, I was bored with shooting this cannon, so I went and did something different. And I've got to tell you, 
<coughs> Excuse me. You met you guys may want this pet for a derby pet. Those little blue fish sticks that he's running on don't look like much, but this tadpole can fly. I mean fly like like it's last call to supper and he missed lunch. <laughs> I've never seen a, a pet so fast before in my life. And not even with boosts. Once he boosts, he's really flying. This pet is fast, fast, fast in the maze. I'll bet he'll be fast. Even faster whenever you put him in a pet derby. I, w I, w I was shocked. I got in there, and pff, even when I didn't have boosts, he was <laughs> he was shaming those ghosts and dancing around the maze. <laughs> I mean, this little ain't making him look bad. So I may, <clears throat> myself, I may even train this pet for a derby pet. I, I was shocked. All right, let's see. Let's, let's give him something good for his effort. Cause wow, <laughs> wow. Uh, the fancy yogurt it is. There we go, pain giver. Now we're talking. That's what I want to see on a pet. <clears throat> this is heading better and better for PVP. Right there, beautiful. And he got Dream. Negative five morale to next pet behind. 30 second cooldown. Awesome. Now if I pick up a couple of those epics at the end there, that would be great. Let's see what he's got. This is what he's with so far. Pain giver, <laughs> awesome. He's got add balance, which is balance attack. So uh, again, great, great. This is looking like a great, great balanced PVP pet so far. He's got two bonuses to attack already. And he's got, well, he's got the balance shield, which, eh, eh. But two bonuses to attack already. That's great. And without even having to mix him with anything. For Derby, he has Drain, Restorative, and Siphon. Now, he didn't have great Derby talents, but I'm telling you, this pet is fast. All right, let me get back to training him, and I will come right back when he reaches right before his epic level. All right, I will be right back. And I am back. The sorcerer hunter has one more training before he reaches epic level. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that one now, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the sorcerer hunter while we're doing it. If you guys have it, the best snack that I have found so far to give him is the golden wheat bread. <laughs> he, he looks like a meat eater, but he seems to love that snack for some reason. And I would suspect the way he acts the reason is because it's good for making sandwiches out of pets with. I came out of pet training one time, and someone had a pig over here, and, I, and he was making a campfire. I think he's going to have a bacon sandwich. This is definitely a very active little pet, let me tell you. And I do believe that he might just make my favorites list, not only because of his talents, just, just how he is. I mean, you... It's the first pet I've seen when you shoot it out of a cannon. He's happy to be shot out of a cannon and to be smashed into a bunch of blocks. All right, anyway, let's see what he gets for his epic talent. This is crazy. Give him his buttered bread. Or is it buttered bread? No, it's wheat bread. Golden wheat bread. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. And he gets element shield. Okay. He gets may cast elemental shield, which... Seems to be a great talent. There's been a lot of times I could use a storm shield against somebody or a, yeah, that'll work. And he got move it. Force lane change to next pet ahead. Lock lane next pet ahead. Wow, so so he so you force him to change lanes and lock him. That's nice, cool. I mean, it's not an epic or anything, but it still like a cool talent. But I do like the elemental shield right there. May cast elemental shield spell. Nice, nice, okay. That was the talents for his epic level. One more to go. As you see, I've maxed him out on all of his intellect, agility, will, etc. All right. I can't wait to see what he gets for his last talent. Guys, I will be right back with his mega level talent. And I am back with the final bit of training for the mega level of the Sorcerer Hunter. I do believe, I mean, it's it's, I'm not swearing to, but I do believe that they have nerfed the Grumpy Gobblers game. It used to be that, that there was a lot of this stuff I could one shot or maybe even two shot. But today, even though even though I've shot it 60 times, 
I've had the worst time getting blocks that still stood up. I can understand it if I had missed it once or twice or <laughs> maybe even five or six times. But it's been most every time the blocks that would have fallen before, I mean just a couple of days ago, would have fallen before aren't falling now. So I'm kind of wondering if they, <laughs> as part of their new update, haven't changed the games just a little bit. Because, well, this this one's about the same. There's a couple of towers. I, anyway, the point of the whole thing being, I do believe they have nerfed this game a little bit. I can see where I might have messed up sometimes, but not, like, most every time. I've had a lot more trouble with this game today than I usually have at all. All right, let's, let's finish him up with a fancy yogurt. Nah, Captain Cantaloupe. Yeah, Captain Cantaloupe it is. Let's see what he gets. Balanced Striker. So he gets Balanced Critical, too. This is a, a PvP pet born and bred. That, that's, that's, just, that's all you can say about it. Let's see. Deplete. Negative 5 morale to everyone for his race talent. All right. So he is all finished up. Everything is maxed out. And he's a happy little blue camper. Well, well he looks mighty happy. I don't know if that's happy or hungry, but he looks more like one of those. Anyway... Let's see what he got. Get myself over here. And he ended up with <laughs> everything on the top of the list. I don't know what that other epic is, but oh well. He got Balanced Striker, which is critical. He got May Cast Elemental Shield, which is awesome. He got Pain Giver, more damage. Balance, which is add balance, which is more damage. And he got this balance shield thing. That's the only thing that I really, meh, it's not so much. But the other four talents are great. And this, I do believe I might be handing this pet down to my balance alt. Maybe doing some mixing and some refining. But otherwise, that pet is great. Plus, it comes with a balanced spear. I mean, that's, that's Pierce off the bat. A great, great pet, I think. All right, guys. That is the full mega training of the Sorcerer Hunter. <laughs> Ugly little tadpole that he is. There you go. <laughs> Say hi to the crowd, little sorcerer hunter. <laughs> yeah, he's saying hi, all right. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series or other pets that we have trained. If you want, leave a comment to talk to me, to ask me questions, or just shoot the breeze, because I love to talk to you guys back. This is Skeletal Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skell Mystic. Welcome back to Pet Training Baby Tomega. This time, I'm going to be training this ice pet called... Let me, let me give you a picture of him. The Sailback Skink. This pet comes as a drop, and a very, very rare drop, actually. <laughs> Look at him go. From the boss in Zyzer.